In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Target Hobby QAV 210 quadcopter in clean flight. I will also show you how to calibrate the ESCs. So the first thing you have to do is download clean flight from the Chrome App Store. And once you do that, then you can go ahead and start it up. And the very first thing you have to do, because the firmware may not be installed on your flight controller. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and plug the flight controller into the USB port on the computer. So at that point if you haven't already installed the drivers, the drivers should install automatically. So here's where the driver installed and you can see here that it is on COM8 and clean flight will automatically pull that up if not you can select it up here at the top of clean flight so very first thing you want to do is to flash the firmware so you click the firmware flasher and you need to then choose your firmware version and your board. There are a lot of boards here included. So you can see here we got the CC3D board which is popular. We have the NAS board and we have the one that I installed which is the SP Racing F3. And I'm going to choose the latest firmware version. At this time it's version 1.13.0. And so I'll select my board. You click load firmware online and once it's loaded then you can flash the firmware so I'll flash it now now on my board I do need to set the baud rate manually here I have this little switch switch on some of the boards you may not have to do that so I'll hit flash firmware Okay, it says programming is successful. Okay. We can go back out to the home screen. And now we should be able to see some lights flashing on the board. We should be able to connect up to the board. And here we are. So it starts up on the setup page. So now you can see that your board is reacting to movement. So the next screen down is the ports page. There's nothing that you should have to change here. So moving on to configuration, you can see it defaults to a quad X and there's lots of different options available. Obviously for the Target Hobby QAV 210, you want to select quad X and I like to have my motors stopped when I arm it. I don't like my motors to start spinning so I click this motor stop. Now since we have the BL Heli firmware on the Target Hobby ESCs, we'll select the one shot 125 and then I will turn this off, disarm motors regardless of throttle when arming via the aux channel. I don't, I'm not going to arm mine through the aux channel but if you did you could turn your motors off independent of where that switch is. So that'll be off. I do want to have battery monitoring on mine. I have my battery wired to my flight controller so I'll have that on and you can set your thresholds here. Now down here under the uh, receiver setup I am going to receiver mode. I will have PWM receiver. This is a standard type of receiver but if you had serial or PPM you would select one of these others and mine is a, a spectrum and this 1024 is correct so there's other settings down here for for GPS and uh, that I won't go into configuration so once you make those changes you hit save and reboot and it's rebooted now you see the flashing lights and then we can go to fail safe 
Now I do like to have fail safe enabled um, and mode 2 and it's set to land. And then moving on to the P and I D tuning. So it will come up default. These particular settings are the ones I already had in there. Um, I'm still tuning. Uh, these seem to work pretty good for me. Um, I increased my roll rate slightly and pitch rate and yaw rate from where it was um, coming up um, in the default settings. So then we move on to the receiver. Now, one of the things when you're doing this part, you want to make sure that that you have no props on your quadcopter. So at this point, I'll turn on my transmitter, plug in a battery. You'll hear the ESCs play some tones, and now you'll see that my receiver is communicating to the flight controller. You can see here, you, can, you, you typically want to have neutral around 1500. See these are very close to 1500. Um, throttle maxes out at 1920 and as low as 980 or so on mine. Also have my switches here for aux 1. I use this for my beeper. And aux 2, which is my three position switch, I use this for my flight mode. You also have an option over here to change some of your rates and so I like to have an RC rate that's a little bit higher so I can increase this from the default. So moving on to the modes tab this is where you set up your your various ranges so again I'm using the standard left stick down throttle down and to the right to arm you can see the light came on to arm it there and to disarm and I won't set that up on a switch. I do have angle mode set up as my first position on my aux 2 three position switch. And then when I move it to the middle position, I have it set up on horizon mode. And last position, which is not angle or horizon, this is back row mode with no auto leveling. Now on my aux 1 switch, I've set up a beeper and it activates when it's in that range now. So. so the last tab I'm going to cover is the motors tab. So on the motors tab this is a nice feature where you can end up controlling your individual motors and making sure that they're turning right directions and also calibrate your ESCs. So you can see here my motor number one, which is controlled by this number one slider here, is supposed to turn clockwise, and this is my back right motor. So I read the test mode notice here. I understand. I do need to make sure that I removed all the propellers. I have to flip this switch before it'll let me control it. So now my number one motor is spinning. It's supposed to spin clockwise, and I can just yep. It is spinning clockwise. And then I can test my number two motor that it's spinning counterclockwise. And my number three motor is spinning counterclockwise. And my number four motor, which is spinning clockwise. Now I'll show you how to calibrate the ESCs. So what you want to do here is unplug your battery. And then you come to the software and this is where you use this master function. So what we'll do is we'll turn them all up all the way. And this will set the, the range on the ESCs. Then we plug it in we listen to the tones. Now when it gets done playing the tones, you slide it down.
Now it's done playing the tones, it's finished. So now they're all ranged together so they all start at the same time. Once you complete with that, you can now remove your battery again. And you're finished with the setup, and then you can disconnect. And that concludes the video of how to set up your Target Hobby QAV 210 quadcopter with CleanFlight.